Oh, we got another project. <laughs> this is the second emergency vehicle we've owned. And this is our 2000 E450 ambulance. Uh, we just had it delivered from Pennsylvania, bought it right from a company that was going to put it back in service. And I'll give you a quick tour today of what it looks like. So as part of the decommissioning process, they took the, the light bar off the top, unfortunately, and then the emergency flashers, they took off and painted white. Which is okay, because we're gonna take the lights off anyway and uh, weld those shut. So everything up here, all of the rear lighting scenes and uh, emergency flashers will be having those removed. Oh my gosh. So we've got exterior cabinets everywhere and this is, this door is fantastic. Shuts like an old Volkswagen, airtight. So one thing we love about these, these ambulances just is how heavy duty they are. These are you know, two, two by two inch aluminum frames all the way through, um, fully insulated and amazingly heavy duty. These, these piano hinges could hold like a thousand pounds. And with, with two kids and us sort of exploring the idea of RVs, we found that they're just so cheap um, that we wanted something that was a little bit higher quality and wouldn't um, feel like it's just gonna fall apart and, and the ambulance really fit the bill. This is the separate bank of batteries for the, for the house um, as it is. Um, there's not a lot of juice in this thing. Um, the, currently it draws so much energy they turn off in like maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna be putting in new lithium batteries. And on this side we have um, where I believe where the oxygen was, yeah, the oxygen retention system. Um, maybe a backboard holder here. Not really sure what was in here. Um, but just a lot of storage. So one of the strategies we're going to be using is we're going to be cutting these cabinets out um, in order to allow us to do, you know, sort of build the most efficient um, interior space. So not all the cabinets will come out but a portion will. So as we define our renovation goals, we'll sort of understand a little bit more of what we're doing. Reasons we bought this ambulance is it has a Quigley four x four conversion, which includes a six inch lift. So there's oodles of room for larger tires. Um, and the four x four includes um, four low and locking hubs, which is excellent. So we're able to come in and lock out the hubs so that if we um, need to do something a little bit beyond uh, what two, two wheel drive or even four wheel drive, we can go to four low and lock those hubs out. So we've got um, a really effective off-road truck. All right, the 7.3 is started right up. On the interior, we've got a bunch of switches that I don't really know what they do. And a siren and a horn. Which is pretty cool because you'd think they would decommission it when we bought it. But if we turn this on... It still works! So I got my, uh, my, my Yelp. Everything is still working. That is pretty cool! <laughs> I can't, I can't get the, uh... Hello, hello. I can't get this working, so I'm not sure if this goes through a radio, if it's an outside PA, so I, I see here it says PA, right there. Hello, hello. But it doesn't seem to be making any noise. The horn works too, that's pretty cool. Anyway, this thing's got brand new seats. Uh, it's pretty clean on the inside. As we walk to the back, First of all, we wonder how many people died in here. But there's a little door here that we can shut, which almost all of this is gonna be taken out. So in the back, here I'll, I'll walk you through some more switches and lights. So, we'll start on the left, these are dome lights. 
uh, cot lights. So all of these bench lights, aux domes, all of these are going to be taking it out. Um, we're going to be completely removing all the cabinetry, the roofing, the lights are just a bit excessive. They're also not energy efficient. I'm actually burning my hands on them. And we have a working heater and air conditioner. We'll be removing those as well. Um, it's just going to be way too energy um, hungry. So we'll be tearing these out and, and putting in a, a more efficient, fantastic fan for cooling and a diesel Lavasco heater for our heat. All right, on the inside, we got cabinets full of stuff. We've got a radio transmitter, a receiver. That again is gonna come out. Um, up in this top section, I believe is gonna be what the air conditioning condenser is. These, uh, these are very satisfying clicky latches. So maybe we'll keep those, throw them on uh, a different sort of cabinet. Um, this right here opens up to the outside, as we'll see in a minute. Uh, there's storage under all of these things for, I don't know what you put in here, but all of that's going to be cut out. These are aluminum boxes, so we'll have to pull those out as we uh, start to renovate and sort of decide how far we want to go with it. Um, some of these, like I know this is going to be a wood construction. So these will come out a little bit more easily where the aluminum box is gonna be really have to be torn apart. Um, in here is our electrical kit. There we go. So this is our electrical mess. Now, all of these are individual relays. Now you should be able to yank these out, which I'm not gonna do. There's an LED light in each one, which indicates if the relay is on or if it's off. And this should be a standalone electronic side, which which, which uh, is separate from the ECU on the on the van itself. So if we cut all of this out, we should have a van that runs. We may be missing like turn signals or brake lights because those are going to run through here because it's part of this. But in each side of these. Um, these are really clearly written, so um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read this, but like the gray one here has a stoplight. We have a um, 48A emergency. We've got another stoplight. So what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting all of the wires out that aren't necessary. Um, and you can see some of these are are going to be se se you know, a little bit important. We've got a chassis horn on here, um, fog light. So some of these do connect, but um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we should have a truck that still runs even if we do cut something that's inappropriate. All right, we'll see what happens. This is a, uh, a battery isolator. So I think, and I'm actually testing this right now, I'm going to let the batteries die and see if the truck still starts. Um, and that's going to give us a good idea of sort of what we can use and what we can't use in this. Um, the big scary project is this big electrical panel. We're gonna have to move to an entirely different location. So this is gonna be um, quite a project. In terms of the general plan, uh, we're gonna be doing a roof raise. Uh, we'll be raising the roof of this ambulance by probably eight to 10 inches, and then putting a small cab over. Um, and to get there, we'll of course have to crawl through this area. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do quite some finagling and tear apart uh, and removing sort of all of the unnecessary systems and weight from this ambulance. We're a little bit uh, a little bit nervous to get started. We, we've had an ambulance before. It was overwhelming in terms of the electrical capacity, um, and it was also way more truck than we needed at the time. Um, now that we'd like to uh, travel more and travel for a greater length, having an interior space is really important. So although we love our Tacoma and our, our Kaya camper, this is going to give us some of the interior space that we're looking for. And the lights went off, um, which may mean that our voltage has dropped low enough that the battery isolator turned this off and is no longer allowing us to run it, which is cool that it worked. So welcome to our adventure. This is going to be a long project. Um, I have sort of a goal of, of having it usable in a year, um, which I think is, is fairly aggressive. It's probably going to turn into 18 months before we know it. So uh, we're excited to get started and uh, welcome uh, to our to our newest adventure. 
Thanks for watching and we will see you back here next week when we start demo. If you'd like to follow along with the ambulance conversion, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of each week's new video. See you soon!